back again. The Sustainable Sanitation for All project has declared 259 communities open defecation free. The project, which is implemented in eight districts, the Central, Northern, Volta, and the Upper West regions, according to officials, has yielded its intended results in ensuring a downward trend of open defecation. Country program manager Anne Muta, however, says despite the positive outlook of, the, of Ghana's indicators on the global table, more needs to be done to make access to toilet facilities a must for all as many uh, people in Ghanaian households still share one toilet. Looking at indicators within Ghana, I think it has done well. Uh, looking at how far it has managed to push access. So out of the 2.9 million peop people that I mentioned, I think so far Ghana is uh, uh, reporting 120,000 people or 130,000 people with access between 2014 and 2017. But you also have to acknowledge that the percentage in Ghana is much lower in terms of uh, numbers of people. Yeah? So the overall program population is less than one million people. The main challenge in Ghana is around shared latrines. They contribute the largest percentage of people. So many people have stopped defecating in the open, but they are now sharing latrines either with their neighbors or within the household. So of course that using the, the global standards for measuring access across the sanitation ladder, then people who are sharing are not counted as people with access. So I think Ghana needs to pay particular attention to the numbers of people who are sharing latrines and device technologies. So I think overall Ghana would be around the middle performing countries. It's not the number one, neither is it the last one in that table, but it has potential to move much higher than it has.